Attention Chiefs fans! A surprising roster twist just hit the headlines, and it could change everything for our team this season. Stay in the know, subscribe to the KC Chiefs News Portal right now for the full story and all the latest news. Hello Chiefs fans! I'm Richard, your go-to source for all the latest updates on our favorite team. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay on top of everything Chiefs. Let's dive into some exciting news today. So, the Kansas City Chiefs have re-signed defensive tackle Matt Dickerson. Yes, you heard that right. Just days after releasing him from the 90-man offseason roster, he's back in action. Dickerson was initially let go on May 13th to make room for linebacker Cole Christensen. But as a vested veteran, he wasn't subject to waivers, meaning he could re-sign with any team immediately. Lucky for us, he didn't have to wait long, and he's right back with the Chiefs. For those who might not remember, Dickerson originally joined the Chiefs in August 2022 ahead of the club's training camp. Although he was waived during the 53-man roster cuts and claimed by the Atlanta Falcons, he rejoined the Chiefs in May 2023. Last season, he played 12 games for us, racking up 15 total tackles and one tackle for loss in 190 defensive snaps. He was waived again late in the season and added to the practice squad once veteran DT Mike Pennell got up to speed. Fast forward to now, the Chiefs had a free roster spot after releasing RB Law Michael Perrine last Friday. So, they didn't need to make another move to bring Dickerson back. You might wonder why the Chiefs would release a player just to re-sign him shortly after. Well, Dickerson's status as a vested veteran means there's no risk of another team claiming him on waivers. This gives the Chiefs flexibility to release and re-sign him as they fine-tune the 90-man roster. Dickerson's return isn't a blockbuster move, but it does add experience depth to our defensive line. However, it also means more competition for roster spots among players like Isaiah Bugs, Neil Farrell Jr., and Fabian Lovett. It's going to be interesting to see how this battle for positions plays out. Now, I want to hear from you. What do you think about Matt Dickerson's return to the Chiefs? Do you think he'll make a significant impact this season? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this update, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. See you in the next one, Chiefs Kingdom!